everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some of the designer dupes I found online, including on Amazon and some other websites. I'm gonna link those items down in the description box below, so if you're interested, please keep watching. So first one, this is a handbag dupe of an Hermes Birkin. I got this from Amazon. As you can see, this is really big and it has a really beautiful nuded pale pink color. Obviously, it has the Hermes inspired turn lock and also a clochette or a key and a clochette. This bag, I bought it for work purposes. This is actually a really well built laptop bag. As you can see, this is really big, really huge. It fits my um, 14 inch laptop, no problem. And the description actually says it's good for 15 inch laptop. So I like how this bag is very understated. It has a very elegant, it has a very elegant look to it, without um, being so uh, strictly Hermes. You know what I'm saying. You can tell that this is not Hermes, but this is inspired by it. And you can see from the inside compartment. I already used it, so I have some documents inside. It has two main compartments and a middle divider. And it has this inner pocket right here, this middle big pocket for your documents and everything. And it also has a padded compartment for your laptop so you can strap it down. So this is really thoughtful. And also there is this other compartment which has a couple uh, small phone pockets to it. Um, I really like this bag. I have used it for quite a while now for work. And this is a very sturdy structured bag also has one more zipper on the back. This bag is under $50, so I think this is a very good deal. Although it is not genuine leather, I do think the quality is very well made. It doesn't have any weird smell. And you can feel that all the locks and the leather straps, everything is very sturdy, including the piping. I also like it has a very usable, sorry, user-friendly strap. This user, um, this will really help you when you're carrying a very heavy laptop in your bag. I need to carry a laptop to work every day, so this bag comes in really handy for me, and I highly recommend this one. And the next one I'm going to talk about is a clothing item that I bought almost a year ago, and I'm pretty sure it's still on Amazon. So this is, I bought this for about $20, but I'll link the link down below as well as the other items. This is the Burberry skirt dupe, uh, Burberry inspired little skirt. And yeah, this, this has almost the same Burberry print. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same, but I've worn this a lot. It goes with a lot of outfits. Although the quality, you can see this is just kind of like a one layer fa fabric. <coughs> Excuse me. This is only one layer fabric and this is, um, I think it's kind of polyester -y like, so the actual quality is definitely not as good as the real Burberry quality, but at the same time, you're not paying that much money. So I think it's okay if you wear it for a couple of seasons and you just hang it there if you don't feel too bad. And I've worn this for like a year, almost a year, and I've worn it a lot actually more than I thought I would. So. The only thing I recommend is try to size up a little bit for this skirt because I I ordered my original size, which is uh, my regular size, which is extra small, I think, and it's a little bit tight on the waist because I like to wear it high waisted a little bit and it's a little bit tight on the waist there. So yeah, this is a very good find that I found. And let's move on to the next one. This one. I think a lot of YouTubers have talked about already. This is the Chanel Duval tote um, dupe. And this is just a chain, chain Duval bag, just like the Chanel one. But it is only, I think around $60 or $80. Uh, $80. I'm not sure. I bought it, I think, a couple months ago. And I really like this bag and you can monogram your initials on it. Uh, I'm gonna link the shop down below for this bag and the texture of this feels very nice 
The only thing I say that about this bag, the quality of the the vegan leather here is not so great, but maybe it's because I used it so much that it has broken down a little bit. Um, you can see I'm I have a stuff full of stuff from my travel um, back when we were still traveling. So this was my travel go-to bag uh, for airports for. Um, long-term travels, international travels, stuff like that. And I, I just usually um, put this on top of my luggage, uh, on top of my suitcase, and I roll it around with these um, big chains um, going over the luggage handle. So yeah, because I think, because of I used it so much, the leather piping started peeling off. You can see the, these parts are peeling off. So I don't think this bag is very heavy duty. If you carry it to the beach once in a while, it is fine. But if you want to kick it around in the international airports like I do like day and night, I don't think it's gonna stand. But overall, it's still a very cute handbag for like everyday use. And um, it is very roomy. And I, and I really just use it way too much for, um, it's kind of lost its shape a little bit, but not too much. It's kind of going wide. So yeah, this is a very, a very great find, very great dupe. And I, and I like that my initials on it is very special. So yeah. And the next one. The next one is this wallet, um, this trifle wallet. This is, um, I bought this from Shein, but I think you can also find it on Amazon as well. And I, I'll link it down below for both links. So this is a trifold wallet. It kind of reminds me of the Louis Vuitton trifold wallet. But as you can see, there's no logo and it's just a pure, um, pure vegan leather color. I really like this blue color. And I think they also have pink and other black, those colors. It has a little tag here. I don't really care about the tag, but okay if it's there, it, it's not removable. And it kind of opens up like the, I think it's the Victorine wallet or the one of the Louis Vuitton trifle wallets. And you can see there's two compartments, three card compartments, and there's a couple more card compartments in, in between them. This is also a little slot. And here, I just have my bills in here. I really like this wallet. Um, I think this is very, it's a very good design um, inspired by Louis Vuitton. I know people always talk about how uh, practical the Louis Vuitton trifold wallet is and how much they like it after using this. This is very, very, very practical in terms of when I only need a couple cards with me and I only carry a little small purse and I can put this into my purse. Um, so this is a very good find. and. I bought this for under $10, I think. This is a very good deal. And I think the quality is really good. Although this is PU plastic, um, there's a felt lining underneath. But um, overall, the stitching is very sturdy and I haven't had any issues of anything cracking, uh, breaking, and the color stays, the color is really pretty as well. Yeah, so this, this is also a very good find and I highly recommend this one. And next, I'm going to talk about the, the UGG dupes, the UGG slippers dupes. And this is actually from Costco. Uh, if you have Costco membership, that would be great. Um, there may be some Amazon ones um, that are similar, but I'm not sure, sure of their quality because I never used them. This is genuine sheep skin, and this is uh, genuine sheep fur. And it has a very nice rubber sole. This is very sturdy. So this feels very nice and very high quality compared to, I have both the real UGG slides and those ones. And I can say that these ones are actually the same comfort level, if not more comfortable than the, UGG, the real UGG slides. And the fur, you can tell is really, really dense. When you step on it, it is very soft and very smooth. And also the price, I think I bought it, when I bought it, it was only $24 or 20, 20 something. A pair of Uggs on sale, um, they, they, already, they are already 50 bucks or 60 bucks. So that is a huge savings 
uh, if you get those slides. Plus you're wearing around the house. I think this rubber sole is more useful, uh, more useful than the Ux slides. The Ux are very flat. Um, you basically, it's just your foot and there's no, there's no foam padding underneath. Um, this padding, this rubber padding kind of allows you to walk around some of the mud or water. Uh, if you're walking around the kitchen, this would be very useful. So this is a very good find. Good job, Costco. Um, if you don't have a Costco membership, maybe you can find similar genuine sheepskin products on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they have something similar there as well. And I'll try to find some for you. And the next one is this, the next one is this one uh, right behind me. This is a huge down coat. Um, this is not from Amazon, but oh, I still have the tag on yet because I haven't worn it that much. But this is, um, I think this is a good Canada goose or a Montclair dupe, although they, they definitely have very different designs. So this is a duvet coat that is worn by the famous Ariana Grande. I'll insert a picture here. And I looked at her and I saw her wear this coat and fell in love instantly. Usually uh, big stars, pop stars like her and other people, they wear things that cost thousands of dollars. But this one is actually on the cheaper side, um, especially when you compare it to the big uh, down, down coat brands and outdoor brands like uh, Canada Goose and there's uh, Montclair. Um, so those brands cost a lot more money, almost thousands of dollars to buy a coat. I got this one for um, under $500 and this is a very heavily filled, heavy dirty, sorry, heavy duty down coat. And it has the label, the label to tell you, this is extreme warm. It's down to minus 40 degrees C and minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. And this is heavy duty. As you can see, they don't, do not skim on the materials, even though they're not a big brand. Also to mention, this, uh, this coat is from Arisia. Arisia. The, it is, I think it is a store from Canada and I buy them, I buy this online from them during Black Friday. And this is a very puffy, you can see that this is a very puffy structure. It's more puffier than my Canada Goose. The Canada Goose kind of flattens all the feather down to a very flat surface. And this one has a more puffy texture. And the best thing about this is this one can be machine washable. So I haven't thrown it in the, inside a machine uh, to wash it yet, but it says this is a machine washable and this is very useful, especially when you want to get a white coat. I really like the white coat in winter. I think it stands out a lot. But the problem is if I get a white coat, usually they are dry clean only. And that's kind of annoying and kind of expensive to go to a dry cleaning every year after year, try to get them clean. And if this is machine washable, I can easily throw into the washer and get it clean. So I think this is a really great not only a design, uh, not only a designer dupe in general, but it's just a very functional and practical and well, uh, good quality co coat in general. So I really, really recommend this. And this is called a duvet, duvet cover, and it literally looks like a duvet. If you wrap yourself around it, it looks like a duvet cover. Basically, this is where the name comes from. But it's too hot right now. I haven't got my chances of wearing this. Uh, it does have a very puffy, um, has a very puffy silhouette. It's not a, uh, it's not a slimming silhouette. It's a puffy silhouette. So you need to be mindful when you are choosing this puffer. So these next two bags I have already talked about in my previous videos. If you're interested, please click those and go ahead and watch. I'm just gonna say my overall experience with those bags uh, so far. This one I got last week and I'm already using it a ton and I'm pretty sure in the future I'm gonna use it more and more, just like what I, what I had with the Duval. I think this is gonna replace the Duval Toad and become my main travel and carry toad. This still has a very good structure to it and it has expanded a little bit since I opened it from the box and it looks pretty good overall.
And this one I have talked about a couple years ago, and this one is still available on Amazon. This one is super useful. I have brought it to the stadium, to concerts, and to state fairs, those like places they are really dirty and sweaty and crowded a lot of the times. And I usually carry it crossbody like this, and it goes with any outfits, literally any outfits. And if you have some designer brand stuff and you can put it inside and kind of peek out, um, I think that is a very trendy look as well, even today, I think. And the hardware is still doing pretty well. There's a little bit scratches, but I don't mind too much. And I will put this link down below. And the next ones are a pair of earrings and there are so, so many designer inspired earrings from AliExpress. This is one of them. And I got these um, FF earrings. Obviously, you know what the brand inspired that this is inspired by. This is the Fendi inspired earrings. And it has the FF and I think this is really cute. It has um, pearls all around it on the F. And I think I also have a pair inspired by Chanel, but I cannot find the, I could not find them anymore. I don't know where I put them. But all of these finds, I got them from um, Kayla Dawn Cook. It's and I really like her video. I'm her fan, and I really like her videos. And I got those linked from her videos. So if you're interested, you can check out her video, and I'll link her down below as well. The next one I'm talking about is not a fashion find, but it's actually a cooking cookware find. This is a pot um, very inspired by the Le Creuset uh, heart-shaped Dutch oven. Uh, I've been eyeing that Dutch oven for a long time, and I found this dupe on Macy's, so I'm going to link this down below. And I found it on sale for under $50, so try to wait for a sale to buy this Dutch oven. This is from the Martha Stewart collection, and it's two quarts uh, heart-shaped Dutch oven. Obviously, it's a baby pink. This is what I wanted, and I have already used it a ton. Um, you can see the inside has a little bit staining, but I think that's, that's what happens with most of the cast iron with the white interior. They kind of stain a little bit, and you can clean it off after a while. So this is a great dupe for the Le Creuset heart-shaped Dutch oven. And it is a, in a very cute color and a very cute shape. And the Le Creuset one cost about, I think, almost $200. And I keep waiting for it to go on sale, but the best sale I'm seeing is, on, is also $150. And that's a lot of money for a pot. This small, especially this small. And yeah, and I got this for under 50, as I said, and this is a great deal. And I highly recommend you check out the Martha Stewart brand on Macy's. They have really good uh, Dutch ovens, very cute ones, have all sorts of colors. And they have, they have baby blue, they have white, they have baby pinks, they have um, little Christmas tree ones. I think they're really very much inspired by Le Creuset, but without the Le Creuset price tag. And as you can see, this is a very heavy duty and has a very substantial, um, this knob, this stainless steel mop. I have used it on the cooktop a couple of times and it's really cute when you make desserts in it or a little pot stews in it because we only have two people in the household and this is the perfect size, the two quart size for a small meal on the table. So yeah, this is very heavy. Yeah, so I highly recommend this one for sure. So yeah, that, that is it for today's video. I'm going to click out. Uh, please check out the links down below. Let me know which one is your favorite or which one you have already. Thank you and I'll see you next time.